And that puts you at the high trade police officer. You are mostly the VIP protection and uh, related uh, services. VIP protection of the former president, I think. Yes. From President Kokote. Or Mwanga, Vinaisa, President Vinaisa, and uh, yeah, I was in these three offices. So I'll be very right to think that you are very knowledgeable in the political dispensation and the history of that. Yes, I am. Now, there's an after to 14th September. Yes. Is that your after? 
Right, we've got your my signature here. I'll test it. It's my effect.
And in that traffic that you save, first in paragraph five, you say that the applicants have no local standard. That's what you say, paragraph five. And this basically you are saying the application is frivolous, is conceived, is bad in rope. And indeed, you are saying that all what the founder members, I don't think founder members applicants, whatever they are saying are falsehoods. That's what you are saying in paragraph five. That's what I said. That's what you said. Yes. Now, in the last update, the supplemental update of my road, you say in paragraph three that after making further consultation, yes, that's what you say. Yes, sir. With the new lawyers. Yes. You have to know that you had other lawyers. Then you go to new lawyers. Yes, sir. One, what motivated you? Uh, to get my own lawyers. No, you are not getting uh, You are making consultation. What motivated you to consult other lawyers? You have written, you read the affidavit, you read the application, you made evidence. That very day, what? motivated you to consult other lawyers? Well, since I'm not a lawyer myself, uh, when the matter came up, uh, <coughs> to my knowledge, I had to do a lot of consultation in order to be guided. What, when you say when the matter came up, to your knowledge, it came to your knowledge you made an after that for 14. Yes, sir. After that, you had another matter? No, I, I just needed the guidance from what the kind of consultation. So uh, that's how I got that new lawyer. And the lawyer had to give me uh, guidance on how to handle this matter. Who are these new lawyers? Uh, my lawyers, uh, gentlemen, is the near you. What is the what is name? <laughs> You need to check on the paper to know his name? Yes, yes. Yeah, is it? You should seek permission of this. You seek permission of the Because if you don't remember, it's not an offense. Okay. Then you should. Mr. Yamuka. Who is seated? Mr. This is Mr. Yamuka. Who is seated next to me? She's the lawyer consulted. Yes, consulted. And Mr. Yamuka, who is seated next to me, after consulting him, he told you to do another after. He advised me to do another affidavit in order. You not know, before the, he advised you, but you did not have it in mind, you were just consulting. No, I was consulting, consulting for, for uh, legal guidance. Was that uh, because, enough motivation? Uh, yeah, it was. For me, for, for example, me, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not studied in that area. I need to start learning, uh, learning people like a police officer. Yes, sir. No, it's a police officer. At least. So you consult the police? Did you also give him the other food that you had? No, the funny thing with the first advert uh, after you were talking about, uh, I was um, in one area, I was trying to avoid it. Then colleagues and uh, friends in the uh, NUP invited me that it was very urgent to consult them. But they did have uh, the medical day of uh, affidavit. Uh, I was requested. Not in such a manner that is what I think is different. In this, that I gave you the affidavit. I signed. Is that your affidavit? Yes, yes. I signed it. That's, that's what I want. The last page. That's what I want. Now, let's go to the you are new lawyer, they are welcome. They are Who are the old lawyers? The old, old lawyers were 
I wish to prepare the statement in my first affidavit prepared by your father. Mm -hmm. That's what you think in Sebek. We had to remit without thorough advice and refer to what was made in my second after using the new words. Withdrawing the first and setting the truth as I know. So you're simply saying there was an after and you are stating the facts yes. contradicting what those after the evidence you gave yes. in the after of the yes, And my question is very simple. You want to to brief, you send the last page without yes, reading the contents, but you are able to state these new words that there is enough that there, and I do not give a proper account yes, right. and the accuracy. Mm. Where? Because you never had a chance to provide those accuracies and accounts. Now, the time by then was around 8 p.m., and I was traveling by Nunga district. Forget about the night. Now, this brought me uh, what you call evidence now. I did read it through the document, and that's the fact that I called my lawyer. The fact that uh, I, I just signed in the last page, that's why I instructed my uh, secretary general that before you hand over this document, which is signed, actually, the signed one, before you hand it over to the lawyers, take a telephone and read to me the text of that uh, document. The affidavit that we talk about the inside. Because we have no time to read it, it's done so hard it there. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Yes, sir. I want to get my question. I want to be very clear. Mm -hmm. One, a police officer in those ranks, you only given the last page to sign. And that's all. Yes. That's what happened. Yes. And that's what you want, what you want to do. You will hear from me. After four days, you meet another new lawyer, a new lawyer. He advised you that the evidence is for one. What was this evidence you are talking about? Because you seem not to have had any evidence according to your testimony here. You are just showing show, show the here that. Uh, uh, what is interesting? What was the evidence in for Kwago, which you think a lawyer that it was false? The, the confusion now is that counsel are bringing in Kwago, whom I don't know. No, the, the, the law firm. The law firm, which I don't know, whatsoever. Uh, a call upon uh, uh, Anthony Mameli to testify on this because me, I said, okay, I said before Mameli, Mameli, Mameli is here, he's a mature person, he can narrate. Let's, let's forget about the problem. Now, in the part of 7A, where you were at the ministry? Yes, sir. It came about that you were with that. So you had a document. And I did. They didn't have a How did you know that there was a suit? They are here, they are not super lawyers. But they don't tell us those documents really true and get to understand what the shoot was all about. So of course I put my own. Yes, they returned me all the documents. By the time I was given it, signing the last page of the uh, affidavit, uh, I didn't even the the body of the affidavit because I was traveling at the time was the eight PM. That is it. And the lawyers they are talking about have never known who are who are Now I'll go to the guest, Mr. Chwaraman. Yes. Sir. In paragraph seven A of which one? Of the supplementary of my the one the affidavit of the seventeenth day, September. You say that the resolution and minutes of the alleged extraordinary meeting held on 22nd Feb at Open Triangle are not true as such a meeting did not take place. I filed the said minutes and resolution the extra commission for the sake of changing the party name as required in the party constitution. Yes, sir. That's what you say. That's what I say. A former police officer. Uh, you say you filed for five resolutions and minutes to a public body. Yes. You are saying there, let me get the extra. They are not true. They are not true. They are not true. They are false. And it is you who filed it. As a police officer, you must have it. You are not a criminal. The criminal charge? I don't know. I'm not well versed with the law. But uh, 
for us in the politics, mm. uh, was uh, a need for filing the records uh, at the electoral commission, and uh, the, the, the those documents were actually timely. That you, on such a date, you need to furnish the electoral commission with the right full information. So what are you telling court? Are you telling court that one you need to furnish electoral commission with the right free information? Yes. That's what you are telling court. Yes. And you're also telling court that what you submitted was false declaration. Mm -hmm. Can I also ask a question? Yes. Are you saying that we had timelines and electoral commission for you to file the change of name? Is it, is it was it a public uh, requirement that by all such time requirement that you needed to file the change of name by this date? That needed you to force yes, the people the PPOA. The Supreme Court Party and Organization uh, Act uh, clarifies clearly that uh, this kind of records have to be filed uh, not later than six months after the party has held its delegation conference. Now, the question here is the change of name from NURP to NUP. So you are simply saying that we are time bound to make sure that we file those declarations for a change of name. Yes, sir. So that means you had changed the name. Forget about what you filed. Uh, Forget about what you filed. The intention to change the name yes. is what you're saying. Because of that, because of that need, you needed to file certain documents. Forget whether they were first filed or not. Yes, sir. For change of name. Yes, sir. So it is very nice that you filed for a change of name. Yes, sir. We filed. No, way. Forget what you filed. Forget about what you filed. What court is present is that you filed for a change of name <coughs> from NRP to NUP. Yes. Now, I'm consecrating the criminal part of it. What I've already captured. I want to know. Did you know that giving out false declaration of the electoral commission to a public office is an offense under the penal code? Because you're a police officer. You were very lucky when you found us. Yes. Okay? As a police officer in the VIP, did, did it occur to you that once you sit somewhere, forge, for five reasons, public for to a body managing an extra business and the public within the time that we are in now, you are committing an offense? Well, I, I realized it later that. Uh, uh, some matter of committing an offence. Are you committing? But the full understanding of this matter. No. Wait, wait, wait. I'm the one guiding you. Yes. You know that you are committing an offence afterwards. Yes. Is it your evidence that you commit an offence? Yes, sir. Because, uh, my lord, I want to make an application. But we are faced with the self-confessed witness, let me know, and I make an application. Under section 98, that during the that this court is blessed with powers, in powers, that during trial, where it occurs that there was a criminal offence committed by a person, this court makes a finding and finds a fine of the DPP. Further prosecution. This has already appeared for you and confessed to that. That's my brief, my Lord, that we appeal that you form part of the final determination. We shall proceed, Mr. Mm -hmm.
డబ్బు ఉండేవాడు నెక్స్ట్ కమ్ షర్ట్స్
Everyone now can pronounce it. But you are saying it is not you. You are talking about another force. Head of court. You see the moment you are in court, it is where? It is where court can help you. Who are these people who don't want to hear about it? You are saying that it is not me. Me, I've done my part, I changed it. As a party president, as the chairman of the Sustainable Trade. But you are saying there is another person who don't want to hear about this. Help court. Who are these other people? We are going to listen. Uh, I didn't mention that. Uh, I, I did say that there are other people who are interested in not. You are saying it is not me. Who are these? Your evidence that it is not me. Remember, you look and say, it is not me. Me, I've done my part. It is now short name. It is a place by the grassroots. It is not me. Who is this? Because as you may understand uh, wha what's going on currently. Eh? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating on this. I, you know, uh, trying to bring in new uh, people in the political grouping. Mm -hmm. Which are, of course, I was leading, mm -hmm. and the new pe people, the new group, which joined us, mm -hmm. got so much interested. And we said, you know, you can take on the, uh, the administration, with us, we don't have a problem with it. And for record, so you are saying that the new group you are talking about is responding three up to eight. Then the new people you are talking about. I that you have read that they should take over. I wish I saw that. Uh, no, I can read. That Number I three is Chagulani Center, Robert. Yeah. Number four is David Rich. Number five is Aisha Kavanda. Number six, Joe Senyoni. Number seven is Flavia Karoye. And number eight is Nyan's Fed Center. You are saying what that you agree this one can take leadership. Yeah. That is the evidence. They could take leadership positions, including the members that uh, were in URP. And, and I, who were to be assigned the new duties. Is your complaint that you were never assigned new duties? Is that your complaint before? It's very important that I was not assigned any duties. I was uh, salarized. You were But I didn't have what, a, what, what is the point? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your complaint? So if you had not been signed nine, you wouldn't be here. I don't see the circumstances. What the circumstances is that bring me to be here? Is it because you are signed nine? Uh, well, I mean, explain. You can't explain the circumstances why I'm here. <coughs> me, what I did, I was, uh, I thought I was operating within a row. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Then I brought in these uh, new people, even women, new, new people in the party. The intention was to bring our party into limelight of real politics. Yes. And uh, for me, whether given a, a, a portion of what to do or not, I, I, it didn't take concern me at all. I knew the thing was moving positively. I knew guys who were there. You know, I didn't have any bad feeling about it. Where did the bad feeling come in later, after some time? What the, happened? The bad feeling probably could uh, be that uh, uh, all the people that I, I came with to join the other team, people who should be in the uh, rightful position, yes. were all sidelined and were not assigned the duties, they were not invited for meetings. Uh, so that when uh, I left with those guys to fight it out. Now. But my people were also said I don't know why. Can this one also mean that's why you you had to go and consult another lawyer? Because when you had this conference from your other colleagues you came in with, probably is it the, what prompted you? Because that's what I was asking. Yes. Is, it, is it what prompted you? It's one of the issues. One of the issues. Mm -hmm. So the reason the evidence changed is that when you consult and said my colleagues have not been considered which is among the issues, it's prompted to have another evidence on record. Yeah. Did yeah. you say it right? What is it? It, it prompted you to have another evidence because you're... Say it's said it's said it's point. Point. I said it clearly. Because uh, uh, when we brought in the party, we brought in a group of other members, uh, other administrators, uh, uh, managers. <coughs> Uh, we did intend 
to be thrown out of uh, the arrangement. So we are, today we are out of the limelight, we are out of uh, the activity, we are out of action. So, <laughs> yes, that's the reason we, with us, me, I took it right in because I read that part. So, Mr. Chawarama, you are simply telling that your actual grievance is that the, the people you came in with to join these other new leaders were side down. That is your actual grievance. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it a grievance. But that is your concern. I could just call it a concern. But uh, it's not a grievance of some sort. And you are simply maybe suggesting that if this group plus you, if they are saying other duties, you will have no problem. And you get back into the lane like probably. Yeah, I even if I wouldn't be there, yes. uh, I as a person, yes. but the moment my uh, team, mm. when you are a team, mm. was clearly integrated mm. and given the responsibility, yes. who would expect to have a, a, a harmonious kind of, uh, you know, working arrangement? So, so, you are simply saying, God, that actually forget about conspired results, forget about what I'm saying. But if I get back, if my people I came with, if they can have duties and prosperities, I have no problem. And that is what you want to do. That's what you're saying, God. But you know, there is a matter of... No, forget about the matter. Forget about the matter. Your grievance is that the people you came with, and I believe the people you came with include Singapore. Yes. So Singapore is also satisfied because of this. That is your evidence. It was also side It's out of the arrangement. It's out of the arrangement. And possibly that's why it's also agreed. I, I wouldn't say it's agreed. Mm. But it's not happy. Uh, but probably it's not happy. But it's not, not happy. Not agreed with that side. Okay. Because uh, this is... Yeah, the same concern. This is a political party, this is politics, this is whatever. So, Now, Mr. Tsarambi, you've worked with several regimes, and you know party change is membership. I want your wise advice, because at your age, you have seen a lot. Did you expect, once you invite other members, still hold on and have those interests and your members to be consulted? Definitely. Is it different? Is it in the constitution that the moment we change leadership, I should always be consulted, and my other members should be given duties and roles? Well, it's natural, natural, uh, naturally that. Uh, it's natural that when you are the outgoing leader of uh, moving in this sort of kind, uh, you need to be consulted. You need to give. Uh, uh, wisdom, advice, and so on. But when you are standing and you are nowhere to be seen in the hierarchy, probably to me, you leave it at that. But, uh, and I want to thank you very much for that. But the one last question. Mm -hmm. You know there's a national consultative forum where all political parties yes. have that forum and they meet at the electoral commission. Yes, sir. And you are still a representative of National Unity Platform, uh, as per the records. What I know, it, it as, is, per, as per records, at uh, the electoral commission, commission, you are still a representative of National Unity Platform. Forget about other things you're talking about. And I'm the Secretary of Budget and the Finance Committee. You are also on top of that, the Secretary of Finance and Budget Committee. Yes. 27%. And possibly, when you say you are sidelined, this very party leaders and members nominated you as a registered political party that has effectively changed the name. Forget about what you are It is this party, the members, the national platform, you are representing in that national electoral commission or national consultative forum where you are also a member. Yes, sir. Where also a member. Yes, sir. Uh, the fact is that. Uh, uh when we change the party name, 
When you change pattern name, yes. When we change the pattern name, the membership or lifespan of the National Consulting Forum was still ongoing. Because uh, we renew our membership every five years, or every four years of parliament. Now, uh, when we came to the National Unity platform, I, I still retained that representation because time had not come to renew the membership. Turbulence in the political history and life of this country. Correct? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Where do you reside? College Road. Yes, College. You've been in Bali. You've been in the Bali. Do you have a residence in the Bali? Are you security? Yes, we have. He has mentioned already. Just leave it at that. All right. For how long have you resided in Nepal? I have not got to whether you intend to continue. Two weeks now. For two weeks. Mm -hmm. And that you have been under the protection of security. True or false? Well. Yes, no. You've been under state protection. Yes, that's right. Well, the three questions touching to my current security don't be touched by my police. If they perceive this thing as a last target for cancer, I pray court prevails over, and my client's answer to the question is arrived on this after that. Most of life, my lord, I do not intend to restate my early application. It is not comfortable answering you say, but for you to say, uh, let's avoid a direction. We shall spend a whole day here. Thank you. My Lord, I am very well guided, and the uh, school in knowing how to protect witnesses. I am an officer of the school. So my colleague would rather best settle his uh, intentions of interjection. So, Mr. Chibolama. Did you apply for security? I did apply for security. You did not apply for security. But let me take you to this affidavit of fourth No, no, the affidavit. That where you signed, you see the third page, uh, the one uh, originally drafted by Wagner Kappa Advocates. This particular one of 14th September. Look at it. Did you say you saw it, you signed it uh, at 8 p.m. and you are heading to Kayuga? Yes, sir. Okay, give it to me. So after signing this affidavit, did you proceed to Kayunga? I did. You did. Okay. And you signed it hurriedly. Without adequate consultation. Yes, sir, because uh, uh, I didn't uh, read even the report and told me. Okay. So the second one, which was prepared by Barunji, by Gun and Kampan Advocates, you had consulted, and this time you were settled. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Where did you sign it from? Did you establish his or her name? Modata. 
Yes or no? Yeah. It was the name of Prosper. Prosper. Okay. He was a friend of mine. It was a friend of yours. I Is he a lawyer? Since he's your friend. Is he a lawyer? He's not a lawyer. He's not a friend. Is that true? Mm -hmm. That is all. You need time to start a mission. It's all right. I want to You ready, sir? So after going to Kayunga on the day you saw the first uh, filament, how many days did you spend in Kayunga? Two days. Two days. Presumably you came back on the 17th or 16th, somewhere around. Good. Mr. Moses Chibarabanko, please look at this affidavit. And what I'm showing you the affidavit in miscellaneous application, uh, 492 and 493 of 2020. Is that your signature, sir? You already owned the case earlier. When was it signed? Going by that date. 14th day of September 2020. At what time did you sign it? <coughs> Around 4 p.m. Please return it to me. It is my job. So, after, after signing the first affidavit hurriedly, on 14th September 2020, at 8 p.m., you went to Kayunga, spent there two days, but on the same date, at 4 p.m., this time earlier than the original affidavit, you signed another affidavit before another lawyer. Does that prepare your credit as an old man? critical moment that, uh, you know, uh, when I consulted, I was advised that uh, you, should, you made a mistake by signing yeah. the first affidavit. Mm -hmm. And uh, the lawyers actually wrote me, never ever sign any legal document, uh, which is without reading the, the body. Incidentally, thank you for that information, but that's not my question. The question rotates on date and time. You signed an affidavit on 14th of, uh, September at 8 p.m. Immediately after signing that hurriedly, you proceeded to Kayunga and returned after two days. But still on the same date at 4 p.m., presumably before you signed the affidavit drafted by Rupaga and Kampan Advocates. You signed a retracting affidavit before, I mean, at your hotel on the same date earlier than the original affidavit. Which is which? My Lord, there are those affidavits these people are talking about. And the documents they are talking about are from Rupago and Company Advocates. I don't know about the Company Advocates. The one you signed at night. You approach me in a private place. So now, if the question is asking, you, but, but it's another document of the same date. Is referring you to another affidavit of the same date. The question was just around that. Not about which lawyer. Um, they're the same person. Because the, For the other one, you signed, well, going to Payunga very late. Then you signed another one, retracting. The other one going in a hurry. On the same day. My lord, the law firm that is being talked about has no relationship with the market between that law firm. 
Now, if you sign one earlier, how would you have retracted? Later, you sign it later. But now the one retracting is earlier. Yes, that's correct, madam. The retracting one is signed four hours before, before the one. Being the one that's the question. It's around the time. By what? I signed it with my documents. You don't know the code yet. You don't know the but you don't even have the battleground. Forget the content. When did you sign? You see, he's pushing you towards one of the two must be alive. You're either telling a lie on the other one or you are telling a lie on this one. Now, where is the truth? That's what he's trying to establish. If you're saying I signed at eight, how come you signed this one at four? It cannot be that at eight you are signing, and then at four you had already signed something. So one of the two must, there must be a lie somewhere. So between the two, where is the lie? That's the question he's asking me. Don't it's about reading. It's about now the document. One document is at eight. Uh, this one is at eight, and this one is at at four. What your question, Mr. Chivalama, Central, Mr. Chivalama, from Kongi. You are age fifty-nine. You have a diploma in business administration. You have been a senior police officer, very highly trained at the expense of this country. Okay? You signed an affidavit. Okay. You signed, the, you, did you say the third page? They gave you the third page. My Lord, I would invite you to look at the affidavit, the original affidavit, where he signed the third page. Drafted by Wagon Company and Wamelian Company. Now, since he recognizes Wamelian Company and Wamelian Company. Look, this is page one, page two, and this is page three. First, would you show your signature on that page three? I don't see my signature. Page three. I signed the last page. Which of that? You have been categorical. Page three. I signed the last page. Good. At, now let's go back to the question. You signed it at 8 p.m. Yes, and you had been called hurriedly. Correct? Yes, sir. Who called you? I had a private my colleagues. Which colleague? Uh, because I, uh, I Which colleague called you, sir? Is <laughs> a The person who called you to come and sign this document is called who? The person who called me to sign this document was called Louis Bumongoya. Good. He's the one you've been referring to as your colleague. Correct? Yes, is your colleague in your party. Is your colleague in your party? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. So you sign that page? Yes, sir. But then there is the retracting affidavit, which you had signed at 4 p.m. before you signed this last page. How do you explain the timing? And from signing this particular last page, you rushed to Kayunga for two days. To me, I was not so particular about the page. You have been particular. It came from you. I was not. So that particular document was the time I signed. Okay. All I remember is that by around uh, 8 p.m., I was approached by a group of lawyers. Very good. At Kokoto, they gave me uh, a document to sign, but the document only contained the last 
That is understood, sir. That's what? We're not reading. Sir, I've left the responsibility to the Vice Secretary General. Mr. Chibarama, do not be a paper tiger. A paper tiger receives a question and answers his own. Now answer mine. Okay, 8 p.m. Was it dark? 8 p.m. Was it dark? And you proceeded. You returned after two days. Let's go back to the one of 4 p.m. Was it dark also? It was daytime. At a location? In uh, Memo, at your hotel, Vaga, at your hotel. Now, did you read this affidavit, which was, was prepared by Barunji, by Ingana and Kampanato? Did you read through it? And it was retracting what, you, what was in uh, the, original, the original one. By this time, did you know the, what the context of the original one, which you signed? Uh, after Did you know the context? I didn't know the context because I didn't read it. But you were still retracting the context. I just signed the last page of that. Do you know where this affidavit of, um, of prepared? Prepared mm. with the facts that I happen to read it through. Mm. If I and you confirmed them. Yeah. But I wrote for the food of court and time. I will leave the question for now on this. May I say that you are a horrendous liar? Would you? Would I be right to say you're a liar? Because somewhere you have lied. You'd be wrong. I would be wrong. Have you ever told a lie anywhere? Not in my life. Not in your life. <laughs> <laughs> so even when you were retracting content so that affidavit, you did not know. You were not telling a lie. How are you? Even when you were signing an affidavit, retracting another which you had uh, not signed, you were not telling the lie. Now, let me just help you to know part of the law. Under section 94.1, as a police officer of the penal code, when you tell a lie on both, you commit an offense called perjury. And you are liable on conviction the term not exceeding two years in prison. Does that help you to apologize to coach? No, it's information. Since you may not you you say you sometimes you forget to it's not a threat. Now, do you wish to apologize to coach for any love? No need. Because you haven't told any right here. Good. Under the Political Parties and Organizations Act, which you referred to gladly, particularly Section 15, 3, any political party or organization or any person which or who B furnishes the information knowing it to be false in any material particular commits an offense and is liable on conviction the period not exceeding 200 currency points or imprisonment not exceeding two years or both. You have confirmed on oath during cross-examination earlier that you submitted false returns knowing what do you have to say about the offense you committed? Well, by the time we worked out the papers and minutes and other resolutions and whatnot, it wasn't uh, clear to us. We, we didn't intend it. We didn't know we were bound to commit an offense. But we, we are fulfilling. Uh, we are fulfilling. Yeah, we are fulfilling our strategy. But you have been a hold of this position, is it family? Tell how many years? Sixteen. Sixteen. You have an obligation towards filing the terms? 
and you're not aware that when you file false returns, they are taught the sanction. Uh, you see, I just don't reduce this court in my own documents, not documents. Because you hold of that position yes. for 16 years. Yes. You must know this act in and out. Consequences, penalties, sanctions. So you're saying you are not aware that by making falsehoods, because you said you made false returns. My Lord. It's an offense? My Lord. A former police officer? My Lord. You see, sometimes what I don't want is you to go out celebrating that I, I put up a spirited fight in saying things which are not ready about. Well, you are senior pastor, and that's why you are on that page. You see, we don't want to set a bad precedent that someone can get to court and say whatever he wants to say. He says, me, at first, I don't remember that. Me, I don't know these things. If I was committing an offense, I'm not aware whether I was committing an offense. If you tell the police officer, yeah. now what will the ordinary person in our village say who has been constituted in the court? My Lord, policy, politics in practice. Different. Between acts and uh, actions. But you're committing an offense. And you're supposed to be leader. Uh, if you're a court, what could have and you become a prime minister or vice president. My lord, what could have prompted uh, that uh, kind of thing? That we had the negotiating team. Uh, another political team on their side. And they were supposed to facilitate us with the uh, Little money that would be uh, given out to uh, delegates in the form of uh, lands, bread, and others, and then we were supposed to uh, pay them the uh, uh, transporting funds. But by the time we reached on that big day of the of the project of that meeting, delegate conference, our friends from the other party. Did not honor their promises. Now, you want that push you to fold? No, that pushed us to see. So we rather commit offenses, but we have to get it. No, because uh, we have already notified the electric commission, and they have not said the other documents. No. Now, what we did was to sit forward and made minutes of that particular meeting. We knew what the content of the medicine would be. We knew what our intention was. We intended with the anti-personal meeting, so we wrote minutes. Not really that we were committing an offense, but we are bridging a gap. But have you? Uh, they are allowed to bridge the gap. Uh, as, actually, my Lord, the question is, was he submitting returns that he knew to be false? That, whether he knew the law is a different matter. As you submitted these returns, did you know they were false? There's no... Did you know they were false? I didn't know. I didn't know because when we presented the the, uh, the, the documents, mm -hmm. the electoral commission, okay. they uh, they honoured them, they accepted them. Okay. So um, the moment, uh, So they believe that, well, was the electoral commission wrong in believing you, the person who had run a political party for sixteen years? They were not wrong. They were not wrong in believing you. Good. Do you also agree with me that when a political party is registered, it is a public entity? Yes or no? And it's supposed to move. And the public good. good. You were on you were on camera saying that you were promised five million dollars before you left in the party leadership. Is that correct? Who I want this, sir? No, I'm asking, is that correct you were promised five million dollars or not? I'm not aware of that. You're not aware. <laughs> that's okay, that's the answer I want. Is it also true that you were selling this political party? No, okay. you are not selling. Political parties mm. are never sold. Are never sold. And there is no supermarket in Kampala that you can identify. That's right. Political parties are not sold. That's correct. In any case, mm. you, may, you, may, you may want to uh, ask if you want to put it in your own words. I will not cross-examine them. I will not cross-examine them. Now, First, if we look at the affidavit, this one, the one sworn on 14th September, uh, 
2020 at 4 p.m. You state that there were 41 persons who attended the delegates' conference. That's the paragraph said. Okay. My Lord, uh, the one in the miscellaneous application. Mm -hmm. You said we were 41 people or delegates conference to elect the new office bearers. We were 41 people who participated and elected the new office bearers unopposed. Is that true? You can read for yourself since you are literate. Please look at read paragraph 7. And loud. For the 2021 elections in July 2020, we held another meeting at the Makisha Gardens Hotel, Kakiri, where we chose new office bearers for the NAP party. And I, Vice President of the Singapore Government, handed over office to the new executive. Uh, once again, Youth financial conscripts and the ban on political meetings under the COVID 19 regulations. We could not convene a delegate's conference to elect New York City Airlines. We were about 41 people who participated and elected the New York City Airlines and opposed of the large group of the delegate's conference. Leave it to me. We did all this in good faith and for the good of the party intended to keep the party, the party alive. This is the affidavit you, which was prepared by your lawyers, Barunji and the who? By Ingana. And that was 14th September 2020. Yes. Now look at this one of 17th September 2020. Is that your affidavit also? Look at the last page which has a signature. Like Is that your affidavit? Is that your signature, sir? Yes, sir. Dated when? Uh, dated the uh, 17th day mm. of September 29th. Where did you sign it from? Mm -hmm. I think this is the one uh, I signed. Where did you sign it from? Bagarod. At what time? show you the paragraph I want you to read for court. You are literate. Read paragraph 7b, which I have underlined for you. The resolution and minutes of the extraordinary business conference at Kakiri on the 14th July 2020 are not who as such meeting did not take place. We sat, uh, we sat as only nine people and decided to help us turn the third to ninth respondents as the new office bearers. Okay. After which we collected signatures to help us turn the decision and even created the ceremonies in the resolution. Thank you. From 41 to 9, which of the two statements is correct? Mm -hmm. Which of the two is correct? At least these affidavits are not drafted by the Pagan Company. Different lawyers. So, are they both your lawyers? No. So, 
is Bayingana, Birunji, and Kampan Advocates. Are they your lawyers? That's fine. That's the question. It's a simple. He's mentioning names, not personality. I don't know the company within which my lawyer uh, friends for my lawyer. So when you met last week, but did, uh, did you sign any documents before with him? No. You did not sign any documents. Okay. So, I'll now take you, I, I, I won't bother you uh, so much, but answer the question. 41 people. Nine people in two different affidavits. Which one is correct? I think the The one of forty one is the correct one. The one of nine. Says nine. The one of nine. Okay. I will show you some document. Here. Please look at this document. What's the document? I'm going to uh, use it after you. Does that document bear your signature? It does. It does. And what is the second signature on the document? Yes, uh, brother Jojo Dodge. Project Brother Jojo Dodge. Did you sign it as president of that party then? Yes. And Dodge as what? Secretary. 
Now please read it for court. No, it's not much case. Let's read. I read the many body. Yes. At the second meeting of the 30 National Executive Committee, duly held at College in Hotel Wandegera on the 3rd November 2005, it was resolved that uh, the quorum of an extraordinary delegates conference be set at 40 uh, delegates, which is the same quorum as that of the ordinary delegates conference. By order of the National Executive Committee, signed by a former moderate member, President Yogi Moti, Secretary of Okay. Where is the origin of that document? You have it. I wouldn't remember where this document is, okay. but all I can uh, assure you is that it is this document. record is at the Electoral Commission. Okay. Because why don't we keep one copy <coughs> of the document, the rest remains on file. But that is your document? Yes, I think So the National Executive Committee of your party then, which sat uh, at its second meeting on 3rd November 2005, resolved that the quorum for extraordinary general meetings, delegates conference, be set at 40. Good. Do you know the number of delegates you have in this party? The number of delegates? Yeah. You will have more than 394. Since 2005, did you ever convene a meeting of the delegates conference? You did. Did you place this before the delegates conference? This. Yeah, but you. Did you not? Council. Did you or you did not? I did not. My Lord, I am applying to tender this document owned by the witness through him as part of our evidence. And the reason I'm tendering um, the photocopy is because we are not in possession of the original. The witness is, and he has fully owned the contents there. Same be received and that will be allowed later to make copies for uh, the entire bed. But Thank you, my lord. Mr. Chibarama. When you were founding this political party, was it your intention that you wanted to be to capture power? through this party, through an election? That's the purpose of all political parties. I am asking about yours. Yes. Is it still your vision? It's still my vision. Are you still a member of this, of the first respondent? 
the national unity platform with whom you are sued. You remember? I what the reason. I have I've taken your answer this money this time. Who is your party president? aware, or no, is it also true that in this political party, you are the head of the elders and advisory committee? No, we're not aware. You are not aware. But you said it at a press conference. Do you want to look at the video? Did you say it at a press conference? Can you remind me? Yes, you said it at a press conference, that you gave the party to young people to lead it, and that you were leading the elders in the party. Do you now remember? Do you trust your memory? I trust my memory. You say not anywhere in the three telephone that I'm the leader of whatever is it somewhere in an unwritten form? No, no, no. Have you ever sat at a press conference with Robert Chagula and sent him to Kampala? I remember one time at Kamochi. At Kamochi. Yeah. What did you state at that press conference? Okay. Okay. Did I state in regard to what? In regard to this, these people, Basile Defas and Tuala Hassan. Yeah, I, I, I tried to inform yes. whoever was interested. Yes. Here. But uh, I, I knew if I was a young man and uh, was being uh, relative to my good friend, Colonel Gimaseko. Because I was so close to Colonel Gimaseko, he could come and reside at my Uambo residence, and in most cases, I would also come. Reside in Kampala. Say if I don't have transport to go home, just go and sleep at my house, and that's what it. So you you knew Basile Def Defas and Tuala Hassan as relatives of your friend Colonel Jumasi. Yes. Okay. Now, are they members of this party? That's where the Sinaga is because yes. uh, out of practice. Yes. I delegated uh, these two boys to come at this fair water yes. in 2005 to represent, to represent, to represent who? The party. Mm at a political meeting that was taking place between the government of Uganda and the political forces that we were meeting at the, the fair hotel here. Okay. So that's the very first time that these people came on you know, within the party and they could carry out activities of the party. And since then, they did uh, uh, Never saw them again. Whenever I go to the Second House, and this boy was at McKinney University, again McKinney, Never had the time for the party and things like that for political issues, so he remained there. He knows me, I know him, but uh, it was uh, such a friendly kind of basis. That Basile is the one who used to cater for me when I'm at the residence. You must say, you must say, who for you? Who for you? Who for you? This kind of stuff. So I, I chose him and said, you will go to represent us in this capacity. And did in 2005, Basile and his uncle, uh, former ambassador of Uganda to Russia, Mr. Sam Sakadia, who passed on, he presented us at the fair hotel meeting. 
not as the because you say okay. whether it's a member of the party yeah, not aware. or not. Okay. This case was filed on 24th August 2020. Have you since then had a discussion with Karen Jumasiba? On phone. Was it on phone? Okay. Did you discuss the case filed by his relatives against you? Well, my concern to him as a friend yes. is that you are you have done that to mm. our relatives mm. without necessarily first informing me mm. or meeting over and discussing issues and you have read. Mm. You know, that was just concerned. What was his response? Oh, there are issues that he mentioned to me. What did he say? You are now in court, just to remind you. Well, he said he did not know the reason why the the boys were being in such a manner. That's what he said. I don't know why those boys behaved in such a manner. Because even I, as their uncle, I was never informed at all. You have never met him since then? I've never met him since then. Okay. When you were being cross examined by Mr. Henrik Savichi, you mentioned the circumstances which led you to where you are. One of them, was being sidelined by the new leadership, the party. What? So you're shaking your head, your head in disapproval? Yes, indeed. Mm. Uh, whether I'm satisfied or dissatisfied yeah. about this office, you know, holding mm. this office for a year, it's not my concern. You say you go down with my own feelings mm. that I am agreeing with because uh, I don't have a position. So I cannot. Yes, you say that's one of the reasons, but then what would be the other reasons for the circumstances that we have? Mr. Sebuna, I hear you. Yes. I don't understand. The circumstances that I talk to not being here is that you are fully aware. That uh, I was disconnected in a public affair in normal life mm. about two weeks ago. Okay. I hear my house is uh, being uh, secured by organizations that I don't understand. Mm -hmm. So from that moment up to today, I'm here because of those circumstances that I can't explain. Now, I don't know those circumstances that cannot be explained by me. That's why I'm here. You know, and uh, very unclear circumstances. Although know, I've come now to understand this is a court case, and I'm here to answer for an unnatural court. Who informed you that you were required to come to court today? Uh, someone smuggled me. Someone smuggled the newspaper. In the, in the place where I was. Mm. You said, you know, the church where I'm at, you were going to court. I looked at the newspaper. And yes, it is true that uh, you were required. That's the time I understood I was required here. That's it. I didn't have any control over myself. Who had control over yourself? I don't know. Because, uh, <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, you were also filmed saying that uh, the leadership of the National Unity Platform reached their agreement with you. Were you expressing your mind freely or you had some, again, some other form of circumstances that you cannot explain?
Sometimes when you invite yourself into throwing different documents now, let us say, Bona, you well, could rephrase the question. Yes, my lord, I, I, I'm making as much response as possible mm -hmm. uh, professionally, but this is a witness who is before you, and uh, if he needs your protection, he will have to state it. May I ask you, is there any way you would like God to assist you out of the circumstances? understand the agony of an old man shedding tears in circumstances of this nature. You will forgive me, but I will ask some questions very politely and ask you to compose yourself as you answer them. You've had a meeting with the Director General of the Internal Security Organization. Was that your free will in that meeting? Before. Before. So you've never met him up to now? No. And the CDF? I met the CDF. When? Here on the fourth day. Yes. When? When was this meeting? It was over to another Sunday. Yes. And it was very from Kayunga. Yes. about national unity platform called FAC? It was about national unity platform. Was it about treason? Mm. It's nothing like it. Nothing, nothing like, like treason. Yeah. But you're discussing about the change of leadership and name of the party. Was security concerned that this could be illegal? That the change of name and leadership would be illegal? No, I didn't, uh, I didn't have such a concern. No, no, from their perspective as security of the country. I mean, just wonder, you know, <laughs> something comes as a surprise. Indeed. And you say, oh, so by uh, making internal uh, changes, changes would be... Mm. It would be security of the country. At a high level. Yes. Who else attended that meeting apart from the CDF? I can drop it. And I understand the circumstances. Have you since met the President of the Republic? 
Not much. So when you left the CDF's office, you proceeded home, right? We went home. You went home. And you went. signed these two affidavits uh, that I have shown you. That was before. That was. That was before you signed no, the affidavit. No, wait. I, I signed the affidavit with my lawyers. Oh, yeah. I signed the affidavit with my lawyers. There was no duties. There was no nothing wrong. So uh, the issue of affidavit is clear, clearly. I wouldn't say. to issue uh, political party membership cards in your party? In which period? Before you handed over office. Our party never issued cards. membership card. Because of reasons. We are young and body company. We have no family from anywhere. Now, we bring in people by way of giving cuts, cuts, cuts. Uh, these people will turn around maybe a, a, a year or two. So, we put first claims. So, so, we are going to issue cuts. Okay. Cut cut. You have answered my question. Would you look at this supplementary affidavit of yours, and in particular, Read uh, paragraph nine. I swear this afternoon. Which means, therefore, you had uh, also instructed by Ghana and the camp by Ghana Barunji and Campanat office. That's why you were supplementing their affidavit. Would you want? Would you want this court to help you in regaining your freedom? This court is powerful enough to do that. I wish. You wish the court would help you yes. regain your freedom. Oh, First, Mr. Chivarama, as a lawyer for the last 18 years, sometimes we are misunderstood. Please understand my questions in good faith, as you did say. You talked about good faith. 
would you want your family to visit you wherever? Well, it's very fortunate that my family is not in Uganda. You could have visited me. Yeah. You would have wanted them. At some point. Because you're still in those hands, I'm not asking this question. I don't. But you will forgive me. If you are done, you have to No, no, I am not done. I was asking a question that I consider passionate, but again for the security. Now I'm going to get the time. We are not going to have Mr. Tualamanja for the whole day and night. Yes, true. We are not going to have Mr. sympathy to you and I wish you luck in regaining your freedom. Please avoid your drama please. Who participated in his election? Uh, 
objection, my lord, never arose. Then you said that you have to talk to your colleagues to mobilize the facilitation. Why? Because it mobilizes facilitation for a meeting. Yes. Which meeting are you referring to? Uh, meeting of uh, 2018, the hotel travel meeting. You are saying which we the hotel prime meeting. That's where we find funds to facilitate the delegates. Now, what was the purpose for that intended meeting? About? The purpose, the main purpose of the intended meeting was to help the party name. Uh, changing from NUP RP to NUP. That was the purpose, sole purpose. Now, whom had you said you would facilitate that meeting in the report? That particular meeting would be facilitated by who? By, uh, I would say by Shawani, but I would say by that uh, grouping, people up. Because uh, the interest, main interest of that meeting was to have that name there, so that the name could be fit in their uh, activities. So they had to finance it, which they didn't do. So in the brief, are you telling court it never took place? I object, my lord, and we examination, you do not give answers to the witness. You are right, my lord. Then the subsequent one, no, the current one, which was held by Alhamdulillah James, 
And and my objection, my lord, is on a point of law. Is it within the power of the witness to decide which evidence should be relied on before court, when actually the evidence is before court? And where did that arise in cross-examination? My lord, to the cross-examination, these evidence have been several put on boards, and the witness has been asking about them. So they can create a position and tell the constituent the things to rely on that contain the case according to him. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.